So success is not the proof that what you did was right. An armed robber goes to rob and he rob succeeds in robbing. That's not success. That's robbery. That's not success. So that you succeeded in doing what you wanted to do doesn't make it the will of God. What makes it the will of God is that you did what God wanted and the product of it is that you're fulfilled. Praise God. I say praise God. I'm not saying if you follow God's will, you will not succeed. True success is in following the will of God. Sometimes we get goals and we insist my goal, I must achieve my goal. I must achieve my goal. We insist. You know, some people are just determined. Even when God is showing you signals, that thing you're pursuing is not my plan for you. They make up their mind to do it by all means. And they lose God and gain this world. Because indicators were there to make you know that this, don't go this path. But you determine, you have made up your mind. Nobody can change. You know, they are stubborn people. I have made up my mind. Nobody can change my mind. Nobody can change my mind. If you like, talk from that till morning. What I will do, I will do. <laughs> it doesn't matter yeah, whether God is happy or not. I will do what I will do. Have your way. God is not going to force you. Yeah, he's not. I, say, I don't care, Dr. Damina. You say that we should not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. I've been waiting for a believer to talk to me about marriage. Nobody is talking. In anybody that come now, marry him. Now marry him. After all, I've been praying. God is not answering my prayer. Frustration has set in. And the reason why you get frustrated is because you refuse to stay with God. Otherwise, you shouldn't be frustrated. Say, I'll marry an unbeliever. If God like, let him put me in hell. No problem. I'll marry an unbeliever. Hell will start for you on earth. It is this earth you will start the hell from. There are people that are married right now. If they can die somebody, their wife and children and escape, that would be their greatest deliverance. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. They are looking for who to adopt their wife and adopt their children. Let them go. The only reason why they are still there is because they have not found an adapter. Is it adapter or adopter? I'm teaching good this morning. If they find somebody, they will dash him the wife. You want my wife? Take free of charge. Children, follow. Take the furniture, take everything. I beg, make her they go. Now by force? Don't be by force. Make her go live. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm very serious. A pastor came from Lagos and said to me, Dr. Damina, look, let me tell you the truth. I'm tired of ministry. I want to, I want to, I want to sell to you my church and my members. How much will you buy? I said, how many members? He said, 27 of them. All of them plus the building and instruments. Buy. Make your offer. I said, I'm not interested. God he didn't send me. He said, please deliver me. I'm tired. I said, sorry, look for another person. I don't have that kind of money to buy church and members. I don't have it. He said, it's not expensive. I said, no, no, no. Even if it's free, I don't want. God has not shown me to adopt a church and members. Mm. A man is selling his church and ministry. Is he wife and children you will not sell? <laughs> You're laughing. In this Uyo, a pastor stood up and escaped from his wife. Escaped. I'm not joking. <laughs> he escaped from his wife left everything for her only carried the cloth he's wearing with a small bag so that she will not see when he's escaping he escaped abroad how he got abroad only God knows nobody heard from him for five six seven years the wife was busy fasting and praying for him to come back he had gone and started a new life Became a taxi driver. Used taxi to gather money. And then move, 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 move. Finally landed in Europe. Married a wife in Europe. The same spirit that pursued him from a Ibom met him in Europe. He beat the wife. You beat a European, not an African. A European in her country. He beat her. I went to visit them. 
I was preaching there and I went to visit them. In my presence, he gave her a slap. Blood was coming out of her nose. I said, excuse me, we are no more friends. From today, our friendship ends eternally. I can't have a wife abuser as a friend. No, I left the place. Few weeks after I left, when the wife threatened him with police, he packed his load again. <laughs> left everything. He had bought a house. He had bought all kinds of things. He had made some money. He left the house, left everything, ran from Europe, landed in America. Started taxi driver in America. I'm in America preaching. He shows up. Ah, Marga, what are you doing here? He said, this is where I am now. <laughs> Married another woman in America. Another one. Third wife. I'm not joking. Third wife in America. Had children. One or two children with her. White woman. One day she came home and said to him, it's been wonderful living with you. I'm leaving now. Have the children, have everything. I'm gone. He knelt down begging and crying. The wife told him, I'm gone. She left. He has been the one living, eh? He's torn by torn. <laughs> what kind of life is this, Abba Simbok? <laughs> when you make the wrong decision and you start, you start missing the tangent, because if the tangent is there and you start missing the tangent, if you're not careful, you keep going. You keep going. It keeps going wider till you're totally out of the plan of God for your life. I'm, I'm serious. That's why you don't play with decisions that you're making in life because they could take you away totally from the plan of God. You'll be lost. You're on earth, but you're lost. You wake up in the night, you don't know whether it is morning or evening. Even when it is dark, you're still wondering whether it is afternoon because you're lost. That's why you must strive to locate the plan and stay in the plan of God. Beginning from the elementary choices you're making up to the major choices you're making in life. This teaching is so important to, for me that I'm not even in a hurry. Because I really want to make sure you understand it so that you can live out your best life. You can live out the will of God and live out a life of fulfillment. I'm teaching good.